guys, Sarah here with Easy Adapted PE. Today I wanna to talk about hockey adaptations. I've done a little bit of this in the past, but I really wanna get down to the nitty gritty of what I'm doing, why, and how I'm doing it. Um, before we get started, subscribe, like, ring the bell, all the things. Today I want to ask you a question, and I did this in my last video earlier this week, and it worked. I was able to get a lot of you to start engaging and we were able to have some really awesome conversations and learn from each other, so I'm gonna do it again. Um, if I want to know how it is you're gonna take these hockey adaptations and use them in your lesson plan, tell me, I wanna know it all. We can share with each other, we can start becoming even better teachers once we start talking to each other and learning more. So tell me how you're gonna use them. Tell me the ones that you use, please. I need new stuff. And um, we can just learn from each other and grow. And I love that. One of the very first things I'm gonna do, especially for my students who have low muscle tone or have difficulty with gripping, is I'm gonna give them one of my Velcro gloves. So these are fantastic. Uh, link below as to where I bought them. But I get the Velcro glove and then I'm gonna get some more Velcro and place it on whatever implement I'm utilizing. And in this case, it's a hockey stick. So I put the little dots on. I actually prefer the long strips of Velcro and I get those on Amazon, again, link below. But the long strips, it just saves you time. It gives it more of a surface area for the student to grip on. I'm not the biggest fan of the dots, but I thought I would try them out. It works, but it's not as successful for as long. But what I'll do is I'll put the Velcro on the hockey stick so the student really just needs to grab on that one time and you can help the student hand over hand if you need to. And then that hockey stick is stuck to that student's hand. So they no longer need to lift their arm. It can just slide on the ground as they're walking. They don't have to grip with their hand. And it's really great. It helps them to continue to kind of be part of the game and not have to worry so much about holding on to the stick as well as moving, as well as understanding what the rules and the activity is. So that's one of my first ones that I love. The other thing that I'll do is with that hockey stick, I will take a pool noodle and I will attach the pool noodle to the bottom of the hockey stick. Now this is particularly for students who might be in a wheelchair or walker and really don't have a lot of control over where the puck or the ball or the bean bag, whatever you're using is going. They, the ball, the puck, the beanbag, whatever it is, goes right inside of that uh, ring. And then the student is able to kind of control it better. And when it's time for them to shoot, you might do a little hand over hand to get it out of the ring. Maybe they can do it successfully themselves, but it's just a nice way for students to have that independence to move around and not completely lose the ball over and over and over again and get frustrated. This way, the ball is right with them the whole time. The next thing that I'll do is I will get a net and in the back of the net, I'll put bell balls. Uh, I've seen people tie bells to the net. I didn't have bells today, so this is what we're doing. Uh, just improvising as adaptive PE teachers do. And so the bells, the bells are at the back of the net. So as the student hits the ball in, they can hear it, they can see it, they can feel it, all the things are happening. So we're getting all those senses together at once and the student is successful and knows they are because they heard the bell. It's I actually got this idea from a student of mine, a former student, a kiddo with a CP who was in a wheelchair and just loved everything, truck, bulldozer, anything like, that would crash or dig or anything like that. So we came up together with the idea of creating him a bulldozer or a snow plow if it was winter. And basically what I do in this video, I have a milk crate. I love to use a uh, laundry basket. That is my number one. But today I just had the milk crate. I'm gonna attach a piece of cardboard to the front of it. Just using tape, guys. Very simple. And on the sides of this one, I put two pool noodles. And again, I attach them using some like rope that I have, you could use the strips of Velcro that I talked about, those are a great piece. And what I do is I attach those to the wheelchair. Now, the wheelchair is a very expensive piece of equipment, so most of the time I'm not going to put anything sticky and or permanent on that thing. But the cool thing about the long strips of Velcro is that you can actually wrap it around the opposite side so that the glue or the sticky part isn't sticking into the wheelchair, it's actually up and the soft side is on the wheelchair and it works as like a rope. But then you bring it back around and it sticks to the pool noodle where you already put the opposite Velcro piece. I hope that makes sense. Tried my best. 
But at any rate, do not put Velcro on a wheelchair. So you put it on there and it acts as like a digger. So that student is able to participate in the hockey unit. They can scoop up the hockey balls. They can push the hockey balls forward. They can pass with a friend. A friend can pass to them and it's not gonna go underneath their wheelchair and get stuck. And then we're sitting there trying to get it out, making sure the student isn't moving at all so nobody gets hurt. This is a great piece of equipment that really can be used in a, a variety of different ways. Love, love, love the bulldozer. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. If you have anything for me, please share. I wanna hear about it. Uh, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Please leave a comment below. See you guys soon. Bye.